That's some really good anime there, folks. Really good anime. Anyway, back to the video. So what we have here is a 650Ti 1 gigabyte model. It was actually advertised by a Chinese seller as a 1050 2 gigabyte. So after going through eBay, I was basically able to get this car for free because I got a refund. But it was practically unusable in its current state because it had a V BIOS on it that made it think it was a 1052 gigabyte. And it's not a 1052 gigabyte, so it would crash often. And you couldn't, you know, download the newest NVIDIA driver, so it was a pain. You couldn't flash it using software because the BIOS on it uh, prevented that. So you have to hardware flash cars like this. So all you need to do to do that is get a programmer and a clip. I'll put that in the description. So the first thing you want to do is look for chips that look like that. There's four of them on this car. And then you just want to Google the model number that are on the chips until you can figure out which one is the BIOS chip. In my case, it was this one. Then you want to actually look into, or Google, especially Google the uh, BIOS chip, because you want to memorize that one in particular. Uh, when you put this on there, it's a lot harder than you would think, but make sure it's on all eight pins. And then you want to make sure that the red wire is on the side with the dot. You see, there's a dot on the top left. So make sure the red wire is on that side where the dot is. Then over here, you put that side of the clip on here, you put that on there. Uh, this lever has to be up to unlock it so you can put it in there. And then once it's in there, you put it down to lock it in. Uh, also make sure that this is on the side with the uh, 25 series is supposed to be, not the 24. So on this programmer, it's supposed to be on the left, so I put it on the left. Okay, so. Once you download the software that I have in the description, let me get the focus. Just put the put the English in the languages. Download or install these two these two drivers for your programmer. And start the program up. Uh, read. So if nothing pops up here, then you don't have the clip in wrong, or you have the clip in wrong. If something does pop up, then you have the clip in right. So you're going to want to go to Tech Power Up to get your VBIOS that you need for your card. You need to figure out your card that it actually is. You need to figure out the memory type and the memory size because let's say you have a Alpita memory. You don't want to get a BIOS that doesn't have memory support for Alpita. Make sure you get that. Make sure you have the right memory size and then just download it. So once you got all that information, you know everything, you got your BIOS, just come here. You also wanna make sure you know your, as I said earlier, you wanna know your actual BIOS chip. So this was my BIOS chip right here. So put it in there. They're all gonna be 25, but yeah, put that there. So now you just wanna push or save your old BIOS because just in case something happens, you wanna have a backup. So go ahead and save it. You just push that. And after you save it, you want to erase it. And then push read to make sure it's erased. So as you can see, I erased mine. It's not there anymore. So now to put it, I'm just going to put it back on. To put it back on, you just go. Okay, so once you got your, once you got that on there, you just push program. Now to confirm that it's on there, push read. And you're good to go. All right, guys, hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, just uh, put it in the comment section. I'll try to answer it. Have a good day.